Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your 1 p.m. market update for Tuesday, the 18th of October. Now, if you're entered to win a free one-year subscription to Market Club on an HP Wi-Fi tablet, if you haven't, uh, you only have one entry, but if you haven't, should, you should enter because it's a great opportunity to have a chance to use Market Club. The other thing I was going to ask you about, we have our show tomorrow at 5 p.m. That's the Market Club TV show. And you can call us in at 410-867-2100, extension 129, and leave a question for us. and Whatever you want to talk about, ask about the markets, about uh, contagion in Europe, about how you use Market Club, what indicators you like to use, and so forth. And we'll do our very, very best to get your name and voice on the air. So let's take a look at that. But the big question today is, is the market a buy or a short sale? That's the question that's going through many traders' minds this week. Should I buy this market or should I go short this market? At the moment, this market is being driven by perception and sentiment. Eventually, that will change and the market will become driven by the direction of the major trend. At the moment, our major trend indicator remains negative on the equity markets. We are also looking at the S&P 500 at the top of the Donchian trading channel, which I'll show you in just a moment, and I believe that was one of the reasons for yesterday's sharp down move. In order for this market to really get going on the upside, it needs to clear the highs of around 1230 on the S&P 500 in a convincing fashion. There is so much confusion in the marketplace right now. Interest rates, mortgage foreclosures, contagion in Europe, the occupation of Wall Street, you name it. One may think that's really unusual, and in a way it is. However, the markets always have tons of conflicting thoughts, but eventually the market figures it out and goes the way it wants to go. Our job here at Market Club is to recognize those changes and alert you to what we are witnessing. Okay, now let's go to the six major markets we track every day and see how we can create and maintain your wealth in 2011. So let's get started. We're going to look at, here's my home page where you can see the time, 12.57. We just started this a couple of minutes ago. And we're going to go to our portfolio manager. There's a lot going on. Uh, we're currently trading uh, in the S&P 500. We'll go to that market first of all and take a look. And yesterday we had a big down move. Uh, you can see from the top of the Donchian trade channel, big down move. We've seen a recovery back. Uh, now it's still early in the day. It's only one o'clock, so we have three more hours and change to see this market possibly pull back or even go higher. But right now it, it's doing very well. It's up for the day. However, that's not to say it's going to remain up for the day. It's, as I say, we have several hours left to trade, and these markets can move back down. The one thing I want to bring to your attention is our long-term trade triangles remain negative. And if we go down to our Williams percent are were very, very overbought on this indicator. Now, the other thing with, look at the volume. The volume has really been shrinking on this whole move up. And that is not necessarily a good sign. And I, I want to see this how this market goes, because this is this move just the same as this move and this move here? Uh, I think we have to look at that in the same context. And again, the market closed very well on Friday, no follow through yesterday, and of course today we're just popping back. So we may be building to go higher, or we may be just testing this area. And again, this is a very convincing negative day, and I think tomorrow is going to be very important to see where we go from here. But right now, I think it's a toss up. Uh, we're at the top of the Donchian channel. We are overbought. Our longer term indicator is negative. Uh, they're the three negatives I see right now, but we're also going to see some positives as well. So again, don't fight the tape, but again, I think the market trend is longer term down in this market, and we'll have to see how we close today. If this market closes lower today, that is below the, the yesterday's close around 1,200, I would say get short. I think that's going to be a, a very good sign. We closed yesterday at 1,200 and uh, 12, yeah, 1,200. Uh, and change. If we close around those levels today, I think that's an area to get short. I think we'll see the market pull back, possibly to the 1130 area, which is a 61% Fibonacci retracement. We could put that in very easily now. And you just click on the top, drag down to the lows, and you can see the 
1132 area is an area of support for this market. So let's see how this plays out for the rest of the day. But obviously speaking, the market is up. It is positive. But uh, whether it can maintain that for the rest of the day remains to be seen. So let's go to our next market. Now, we're going to look at silver. Now, the silver market was under a lot of pressure. It fell to an eight-day low, trading as low as 30.50 on spot silver. And here it is. It's sort of come right back, very similar to this move in this move. I'm not sure uh, how to read that at the moment, but all of our indicators. Hold on, I'm just going to sneeze there. Sorry, guys. Uh, all of, <coughs> excuse me. Beg your pardon. All of our indicators are negative on this market. Uh, monthly, weekly, and daily are all negative, indicating that the trend is down. We said this is this is really kind of reflective as silver is an industrial metal right now. This Donchian trade channel is coming down dramatically. Uh, we should be hitting that very soon. And uh, we'll have to watch how that plays out. But generally speaking, I'm more bearish on silver than I am bullish. So again, we're coming from an overbought situation, much like we were here and here. And I think that could be an indication of the next swing down. Uh, and that's something we want to look at. So let's take a look at our next market. Next market is going to be gold, which is a different picture. Now remember, on silver, Three red triangles, very negative. On gold, it's a little bit different. You've got actually two positive triangles and one negative triangle. So it's a different picture. Even though gold's down today, uh, it moved to about an eight-day low. We traded as low as $1,626, $1,626.74. That's the low price paid for silver, or gold rather today. And uh, But you can see we're coming down rather dramatically in the Donchian trade chart channel. So we're also in an, we were in an overbought condition. Now we've corrected that, but I'm not altogether enthusiastic about this market at the moment. I want to see it do a little more technical r r repairs before I think it can go higher. But for the moment, I think we definitely topped out in the third quarter, uh, which we talked about actually about a year ago in Q3 being the highs in the gold market. I think that's for the moment. It is going to be the high. And I think we're in a very defensive mode. And I could see this market possibly coming down uh, to the $1,600 level in the not too distant future. So next market we're going to be looking at is going to be crude oil. Crude oil is acting very, very well today. Uh, I'm surprised. We were looking for this market to come down. Uh, it's put in a very positive day so far. Again, so far it's very positive. You can see our monthly trade triangle is negative. Uh, it still has some work to do in this market to get over these highs, and their highs we're looking at around 9072, 91, somewhere around 90, 95, 90, 90. 90.50, 90.75, somewhere like that. That's a very important level. I'm not sure it's going to do that right now. So again, really, this market doesn't have a brain of its own. It's basically been looking at the equity markets. And if the equity markets go up, then so goes the crude oil market. Now, that's been pretty much the pattern. You can almost, almost tell from what's going on in the crude oil market what's going on in the equity markets. Now, whether we can maintain this momentum uh, remains to be seen, but certainly it's a good picture today for crude oil. Uh, however, I'm going to reserve my judgment because I still think the longer term trade triangles potentially can come into play in this market. And it's still too early to say it's out of the woods. The question is, we're right at the highs. And are we going to go higher? Let's see how that plays out. Let's go to our next market. And the next market is the US dollar index, which actually moved to its best day in five days, higher, around 77.50. It's pulled back from that level. Uh, we put in a good performance yesterday. Um, again, this is where it's sort of going back. It's like a ping pong game between Europe and the States. Some days it's going to favor Europe, me going the euro going higher, and some days it's going to favor the dollar going higher. It's really not clear yet. But one thing is clear is the fact that you've come from the top of the Donchian trade channel. You're at the bottom of the Donchian trading channel. You were oversold. And I think still think we can see this market trade back to the 78.50 level, which is where we think this level could go. But there's really something you really want to pay attention to is how these markets are spanning out. They're, <coughs> excuse me, they're really pretty choppy, and I think that's one of the concerns that we have: the thin volume and the choppiness. Really, nobody has any strong convictions yet on how this market's going to play out. So let's go to our last market uh, we'll look at today, and that's going to be the 
Reuters GFA CRB index. And again, this market looked to us like it was topping out. This is a, we talked about this before in the Fibonacci terms. Uh, this is a 50% uh, retracement uh, right here, which we, we managed to turn back from. Uh, whether that's going to be enough, we may go up to a 61% retracement, 61.8% retracement, so around the 323 level. But nonetheless, the market is overbought. We are seeing our long-term trade triangle still negative on this market, and our other markets, short-term, intermediate, term are positive. So you've got this mixed picture, and I think that reflects today's action that we're seeing right now. So I think one has to be a little bit careful, but generally speaking, I think we can see this market potentially move down uh, and possibly test the 305, 300 level, which is right around these levels again. I think that would be a healthier picture. And then from there, we can definitely get a better reading. But for the moment, I think you have a mixed picture. Uh, you've certainly moved back into the, the uh, Donchian cha trading channel from out of the trading channel. This is what typically happens. You can see we're out, out, out. Instantly we move back in and we're out, out, out. We move back in. So I think for the moment uh, we're sort of in a sideways mode deciding what we want to do. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for the day. I think we've got a lot of stuff going on. I think it's going to be interesting to see how we close in these markets later today. Uh, it's still very, very early. And the key thing is uh, we want you to watch our show tomorrow at Market Club TV. Uh, if you haven't seen the show before, I think you'll like it. We actually want to include you in the show. We, so we appreciate your calls at 410-867-2100, extension 129. You can ask me any question, and I'll do my very, very best to answer those questions. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll have a good show. You'll enjoy the show, and uh, you'll learn something, which is very important in trading. So I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and I'll also see you at 5 o'clock on the Market Club TV show. So have a great day trading.